This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have a code cards of a huge variety, so definitely check them out. PokeTownStore.com. What's up, YouTube? It's Zander's TCG here, and welcome back to another TCG video on my channel. In this video, uh, we'll be uh, vlogging the entire Paris special event. Uh, yeah, I'll be playing Baby Boss Cephalon as I did in the Cup and Lil, and uh, yeah, a uh, bunch of my fellas here, all right here. Uh, what are you guys gonna play? Baby Boss Cephalon. Oh no, oh no, it started. So uh, Arna is gonna try out Pijolo Control and the regionals. We wish him the best of luck, and hopefully he will not be uh, tiring out at the end of uh, round nine or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. We'll uh, see how the, the venue looks. I've never been to the special event. It's, I think it's the first time they're gonna do it like in Paris. So we'll see how it goes. This view is also very amazing. Like tall buildings everywhere and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fantastic weekend, and I'll uh, keep you guys posted. Alright, we are now traveling through the park-ish, something something. Yeah, and uh, we are actually on our way to the venue right now. Uh, the uh, yeah registration is between 8 and 9 and the tournament will start in uh, 9.30. So we'll definitely uh, be ahead in time so we can chill out a little bit right there. Check out the venue, check out the, what they have at the stores and uh, maybe trade a little bit of our cards. And I'm uh, very excited to be playing another one prize deck. I tried at the World Championships with Frostless and uh, this time around it's Baby Blounce, it uh, has been treating me well throughout the month. Got uh, yeah, some championship points with it already. So uh, maybe we can uh, continue that trend with, of course, this special event in uh, Paris. Hi. Okay, round number one is done. Uh, it was a very lovely uh, match against uh, Bastion. Uh, twice he uh, played, of course, Picaron. Tell me a little bit how the match has proceeded. Well, um, in the first game, um, you just ran me over, I guess. Couldn't do that much. In the second game, I had to, like, and my stamp didn't work out late game, so you drew a green out of it, which gave you double B string, and you could close out the game. So. Yeah. Uh, I can't try to be I don't remember right now. <laughs> um, in the second game, I had to discard two um, stamps on one, and yeah, it didn't work out for me in the end. So, it's very uh, yeah, devastating to see a Denny for two stamps. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, the thing I realized is that uh, you didn't get out Alolan Raichu. You said in uh, no, Price did game one, and I didn't really need it because I felt like Tech Ball is way better in this matchup because I don't yeah, want to retreat into a one prizer. Exactly. Yeah, it was understandable, but yeah. it was like so devastating seeing that those two resets them go yeah. with the design. Anyway. It is what it is. It is what it is. I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the Thanks. tournament, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, uh, round number two is done. I was up against Raz uh, Wopi from Israel. He was playing Pico. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me a little bit how both matches went. Uh, okay, so technically both games I try to go to the tag ball to take as many prizes as I can with the Pico Rump and just running, running you out of attacker while of course playing stamp to two. Yeah. The stamps were really nasty this time, right? Like last game uh, against another person, I uh, also got stabbed, but I uh, luckily threw out of it with Custom Catcher. 
this time around it was not the case. I, I think I uh, dead drew twice after the stamp, so I had to like promote an attack and did not declare an attack. And I think it went downhill from there. So uh, yeah, Picaron still a very strong archetype. What would you recommend uh, for people playing Picaron? Is uh, three stamps the key? Maybe more? Who knows? I think it depends on the meta. You have. I mean, I carefully picked my 60 because I was one one card off the perfect 60 for the event and. It will ruin me some matches. Yeah, it was very funny because uh, at the World Championships, people sure, played yes. like only one stamp in their Picaram, and now they like go crazy with three stamps. Yeah. Do you know any particular reason why that is? Uh, basically, yeah, stamp is a really nice. good card. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it took uh, the community quite a while to realize how good the card is, but uh, you played very well, and I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the rounds, man. Good luck. All right, round number three is done. I was up against uh, Michael Batten, and he was playing very well with his Gardevoir. Let me, uh, yeah, tell me a little bit how both matches went for you. And to be honest, game one, I mulliganed five times and gave you a bit of a head start. And I felt I just couldn't come back from that start. Game two, the game plan worked well. Match gets you to the zero cards hands. Yeah, that was pretty much game. Yeah. I, I had, I think the top deck was a fire energy. So. And then game three, it was about 50-50, and then you got a very good where you reset stop me pretty well and then I just couldn't get the final yeah, the, energy. Yeah, the basic idea was like there was a Gardevoir with five energies and yeah. I knew he had energies thanks to energy spinner. So the only chance of me not getting to a zero card hand was that uh, one uh, reset stand I played. So that turned out okay. So, yeah. yeah, it was very fun. Oh, I great game. A lot it was a great game to play. Right. Cheers. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, mate. Okay, match number four is done, and uh, I was up against Blacephalon GX, but it was uh, with a strange variant. It was like with Ms. Magius, Dust Stones, and B Strings getting that off on his first turn if he went second. It was crazy to see, but against, of course, a one prize deck uh, like Baby Blacephalon, that was uh, actually not too bad. And they, uh, he blew up a Ms. Magius, he blew up another Ms. Magius. That means if I uh, knock out a Blacephalon GX, we can uh, knock out another one and we're game. If he doesn't uh, do that like he did in uh, game two, I could just use Burst GX. So uh, that was just fantastic, seeing a, a weird, unique unique deck like uh, Blasaphalon with uh, yeah with Ms. Maggie. So we'll see what else we come across. We're at three wins and one loss so far. Match number five is done. I was up against Barry Newton, the very uh, friendly guy. Yeah, he was nice. He played against him. Yeah, let me let go a little bit how the match is really well. Apart from Weldering, like a pillock. Yeah. Uh, game one was uh, very close. You beast ring a lot on your Blacephalons, and then a Reshizard came out of nowhere. This is a green Zard? No, it's a mix between uh, Blacephalon green and... Blacephalon. Yeah, oh, green Blacephalon, it. yeah. Uh, you uh, had also a lot of mulligans in game two, I recall. That was also because someone kept um, turning me into like no Pokemon at all. But as I only play seven Pokemon, yeah. it's really hard to keep not getting it. Like yeah. um, was it Chris Owantis mm -hmm. when he went to Welds? He had loads of mulligans against him because he only had four Pokemon. Yeah, and you had to stamp early game, otherwise your uh, active would have already been killed. Yeah, yeah. Where's your match slips? Uh, they already. Yeah, anyhow, nice playing against you, man. Nice Wish you the best of luck. See you soon. Yeah. All right, match number six uh, is done. We were up against uh, one uh, from the team Beaujeu. Yes. Uh, all the way from Lille, if I remember Lille. correctly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, great league. I've been there before. The, there nice. is a shop uh, called, uh, called uh, Beaujeu. Yeah, so great. It's a team Beaujeu. Yeah, I see a lot of you people uh, with the, the pink uh, hoodies. It's very nice yeah. to see the community <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah, you were uh, Cedric Flamand and uh, you played with Cephalon Jacks. Tell me a little bit how both matches went. Uh, this matchup? Yeah, this matchup. Yeah. Uh, the the, pr the pr prize rise yeah. is uh, is very crazy. Uh, I can't really uh, handle uh, this, and uh, I notice uh, that you have uh, a blasting for Yeah. So uh, that's a, a very uh, nice surprise for me, and um, it's uh, it's really hard. Uh, plus plus uh, you you play the uh, B string. Yeah, B string. They yeah, help so, a lot. So. There is a. It's, it's actually, I, I whiffed a lot of welders during, I played this with Pijota as well, and yeah. whiffing welders like, ah, oh. yeah. I would be string, you don't have that issue, so. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I wish you know. This matchup is really bad for me, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> because you also rely on Ultra Space, and yeah. as soon as you place Ultra Space, mm -hmm. I can get my setup and yeah. it's yeah. out the deck. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's my third Blacephalon in a row, GX. Mm -hmm. But all different decks, they played Blacephalon with Magius, yeah. played Blacephalon with Green, 
yeah. with Rashi's art in there. Mm -hmm. And now it's Bosa Flower with Nagadel, so lots of Bosa yes. Crazy. And uh, what was uh, your loss? Um, I lost against the Picaram. They no. stamped yeah. me, they play a lot of stamps. Okay. Yeah. I'm not too big a fan of stamps. Yeah. But yeah, I wish you the best of luck, uh, Cedric, for the rest of the rounds. Yes. And, uh, yeah, till next Goodbye. Time, eh? Bye. See ya. Okay, round number seven is done. I got myself another victory over here. Uh, the good thing is that it was a mirror match. Very, very close mirror matches because uh, we both reset stamped at four prize cards. So uh, both of us would win like Welder or B-String. And I got out on top, which is nice. And uh, in game two, I believe, he... Uh, yeah, he got out really well, but prized two Blacephalon, which actually helped me out a lot. So and, uh, even if he took two knockouts, I, uh, he didn't got there his Blacephalon from the prize card, which is awesome. So I uh, only needed to KO two baby blounds and that was it. Uh, so yeah, I'm at six wins and one loss. That means I'm probably going to day two. Uh, the only thing I have to do is like ID one more time and that's going to be it. So yeah, going great. Uh, yeah, match number eight is done. I was up against Aurelion. Yeah, I think <laughs> oh. I pronounced it correctly. It's Aurelion. Aurelion. It's from Switzerland, but yeah, it's yeah. You can say Aurelian. And you maybe. were playing. What is that? It's Quagnag. With it's the Axis. That was very yeah, yeah. Yeah, you It's a lot of uh, fun. I didn't see the psych games. Do you play them uh, at all? I play one ah. energy and the other one because I told you I play Nine Tails, yeah. uh, Furry. There is a rainbow that you oh, saw. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. to be used for the Alolan Nitro, which is also very spicy in your deck. Oh, it uh, won me with Guardian, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit how uh, our matches went. Uh, oh, our match yeah. uh, got destroyed. <laughs> um, no, it's too fast for me, uh, Baby Blaze. Uh, I tried to take the advantage uh, by. I had an insane setup, turn two. Yeah, two quag nags. Yeah, two, two quag nags. Uh, it was two, two quag and three nag, yeah. Crazy. But it's really too much if you can cycle all these energies. Yeah, the, the only win condition for me was uh, is, yeah. the Danny. And I don't play any st uh, stamps, so yeah. play stamps, guys. No, no, it don't helps. Do that. <laughs> it helps yeah. against this matchup. Nice to play, man. Nice yeah. to play you, man. Okay, the last round is done. I was up against Anthony Cognar. He was from France, only half an hour away, and uh, we were playing a very fiery match. He played a Reshizard with Green Engine. Tell me a little bit how both games went. Um, I tell you, um, I'm unlucky. <laughs> the stamp is useless. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you stamped me twice. After stamp uh, twice, uh, the, 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 the two round, and the. He drew a core bike and uh, green uh, after acrobike yeah, bike and... Uh, it is a strategy I've been testing yeah, yeah. around with some friends and that uh, you have acrobikes in hand and everybody plays them instantly. He uh, play. I don't play them at all, I keep them in the hand because uh, that he helps. He plays very things. good, very yeah. good. Yeah. It was great I, playing I'm, I'm, you. I'm impressed. Yeah. Thank you. The score is A. <laughs> Congrats. Alright, day one concluded of the Paris special event and I'm actually at the eight wins and one loss so far. So tomorrow I don't have to do all too much, just I need to win two more and tie the rest and I'll be in top eight, which has uh, been a while. It's been uh, since Cam uh, that I got into top eight. It'll hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm uh, first seed, which is always a great feeling going into day two and uh, I'll keep you guys posted uh, on the rest of the tournament. Baby Blounds for the win. Okay, and now the most important question of the day, your round one and day one. Round one, day one was the most terrifying deck in the world. It was Accurate Stall deck and I'm playing the same list as, as Zapdos. So uh, I couldn't attack, I couldn't retreat, I couldn't play items, so it was a hell. I rank with it. And how did that end up? Did you see how, how he went? What score? He, I, I don't know, I, will, I think he, he, he won, I think he won. He was next to me at the last round for winning in. So that he, random he, deck is in game two? I think, so ah. tomorrow it will be hard. We'll, we'll dodge them, together with the yeah, birds. Yeah, we'll dodge them, we we'll dodge we'll them. Alright, congrats. Day two, everybody! Okay, uh, good morning everybody. This is day two of the Paris special event and uh, luckily enough our entire crew uh, got to go to day two which is fantastic. Uh, we are gonna rock uh, today. Hopefully we'll uh, don't come across too many Pidgeotos. There's one of us playing Pidgeotto. There's four Pidgeotto in there then I also think there's like 10 Picaram, what else was in there? Four Blacephalon. Crack, uh, crack, 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 one, well, that stall deck that we talked about uh, just a couple of minutes ago in this video, but actually uh, yesterday. There's also, if I had to guess, Wait, Blacephalon GX. Uh, four Blacephalon GX. 
yeah, that's a good matchup. And uh, yeah, typically there's all picker on there. I think only <laughs> there's one Malamar, of course. There's got to be one Malamar. I think there's maybe two if I uh, checked it out. So there's uh, not too much variety in the format, except for the crazy Aranconet deck. We are uh, the only ones playing Baby Blacephalon with the green engine. I think there's also one Baby Blacephalon with the Pidgeotto engine. So there's a couple uh, of different decks in there uh, in day two, but uh, mostly there's gonna be Picaram. So hopefully we'll come across those because I we train that matchup a lot. Okay, day two concluded and I got second, which is crazy. Uh, the last time I got into top eight was in Cannes and then I uh, dropped out immediately thanks to Pedro destroying me. And uh, this time around, got a uh, second. I, uh, I'm gonna just check out what matchups I had. So uh, I have it with me here. So uh, I did not do the interviews because uh, almost all games I played the entire time and I uh, needed the break to just uh, prepare myself for the next round. So uh, yeah, we played against a lot of great players. Uh, first uh, round in day two. We faced off against Picaram. The day did not start very well. Uh, I got two losses in that round. Round number 10 was uh, the stamps that just got the better of me. He stamped me and I got like uh, two energies and something else that I couldn't use. But yeah, my own reset stamp, which was irrelevant because uh, I uh, was gonna get dunked thanks to Picaram. And uh, the upcoming match, round number 11, uh, I think that uh, was the one that I tied. Uh, I was up against Reshizard. I was also the dude that I played in day one, the last round. He played, of course, Reshizard with the Fighting Dojo, uh, one copy of the Fighting Energy, uh, the Shrine of Punishment, Lusamine build. So he only plays two stamps, which is uh, better than playing uh, like the four stamp version we saw in Brazil. Uh, other things I should mention here is that uh, Volcanion cannot one-hit KO Baby Blount. So the thing I always do in that matchup is try to destroy two Reshizards. He uh, typically gets out his Reshizards because Volcanion is just such a useless uh, Pokemon in that matchup. So that was it. I uh, lost the first one thanks to a, a well-timed stamp and uh, yeah, the uh, second game I won. And then we all had like two minutes left on the clock. And we couldn't, uh, yeah, we started game three and that was like time. It was like, yeah, handshake, bam, that's a tie. Round number 12 was up against Pidgeotto Control and I was like shaking in my boots because uh, yeah, my good friend Bram also faced off against Pidgeotto and uh, yeah, yeah, he's here right Twice. here. Twice, yeah. Pidgeotto Control is just insanely difficult for uh, our matchup. Uh, yeah, Baby Blounce just uh, sometimes you can use Victini, which the, is the thing I did to just uh, get energies back in the deck uh, continuously in combination with Blacephalon GX, it can use like Burst GX to uh, get of course an extra prize card while also accelerating in energy if you know that they're the, one of the last few prize cards is an energy and uh, with Bursting Burn Oranguru is also confused and uh, burnt uh, the confusion is more important on that part although the 20 damage on Or Oranguru is also great to uh, just mind blowing your last two energies so yeah I uh, miraculously won that matchup because uh, he needed like a, a water energy I custom catch the Pidgeotto with water energy he had Articuno ready but uh, Articuno did not show his face because uh, yeah he whiffed on the water energy and uh, that's why I miraculously won against the Pichotto Control. I was so happy that I even bumped up uh, uh, one of the judges. It was a uh, celebration all around. So I won against Pichotto and then the, the second game started and you know how that goes. Pichotto needs way too long to just uh, destroy me. So he went on the offensive with Articuno. But uh, the, the thing here is that uh, they don't have enough uh, time left. So even though he went aggressive with Articuno, if he does that, I can one head KO it. So that was it. Uh, round number 13, again, Pichotto Control. But this time around, it was my uh, good friend Arne, which uh, he also uh, got into day two. Everybody of us got into day two, which is crazy. Uh, yeah, what can I say about this? Uh, we were thinking about IDing, but uh, the thing here is if, he, uh, if we ID'd and I id the, the next round, I'm automatically in uh, day two. Uh, actually, in, not day two, in uh, top eight. But uh, he needed to get the, the, the win to it. Actually, the, yeah, if we tied, he uh, needed to win his last round, it was something like that. So uh, we started the game and uh, he has of course the favorable matchup. I dunked him in the game one, which was insane. So uh, uh, we already knew that uh, if he, uh, if I dunked him, the second game he needed to go very aggressive with Articuno and it could go wrong. So uh, if he lost, he would have uh, not gotten into top eight. So we decided to just ID right there. So we tied and then round number 14, was up against uh, yeah a Blacephalon GX player. We already know what everybody's playing thanks to Pokestats.com and the good input of, of course, uh, Stefan Ivanov and all the good friends on Hey Fonte. So uh, it was Blacephalon Naganadel, a very crazy matchup. I always went against that matchup. So, uh, but the thing was is that if I ID this round, there's gonna be nine people uh, making it uh, into the, actually into top eight. So there's a lot of people with uh, 30 points. That means one of them is definitely gonna bubble out if not two. So what I decided is like uh, I'm gonna play this round because uh, Arne is also playing the end of round 14 
and um, yeah, if he lost, uh, he would have definitely not gotten into top eight. But if he tied, there is a, the chance of him getting into top eight was higher. So I uh, played the ground, destroyed the Blasafto Nagadal player, and out of nowhere, I got into top eight together with Arnold, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, Bram unfortunately did not make it because of Pajero control. I just uh, yeah, locked out, I guess. Pajero control. If I lost against both of those, I uh, yeah would have went home as well. <laughs> And then top eight, I was up against a, a very crazy player, a pick around player uh, that of course uses stamp a lot. He played three stamps if I recall. So I won the first one because a high roll destroyed Picaron, only needing five energies in hand with a fireball circus. I lost the second one because uh, he tagged bolted and uh, I got done. It happens. And then I won the extra round. So uh, yeah, top eight was very great. And then we went to top four, where I met Robin Schultz once again. We faced off against uh, each other and uh, Ken, and then he destroyed me. But this time around, it was the other way around. I won twice. It was Picaram again, so uh, my entire top 8, I faced Picaram, Picaram, Picaram. Just as a little spoiler, I won against Robin Chills because he... Uh, game 1 was 50-50, uh, yeah, he uses like uh, the uh, full blitz, uh, puts energies everywhere and all that good stuff. But I managed to uh, get the better of him and destroy him. Then on the game 2, he... Um, let me just uh, recalculate what uh, happened. Yeah, he had a Raichu, a lone Raichu as a start. Uh, the, the remix here is that his opening hand was like energy, energy switch, energy switch, uh, reset stamp or whatever, Erica. A lot of cards that he cannot play down. So uh, his Alolan Raichu was there uh, wide in the open and then I uh, knocked that out. And uh, then uh, finals, which was crazy, I, I was up against uh, Joe Bernard from Omnipoke. And uh, yeah, he played Picaram as well. So facing off against so many Picaroms in a row. I won two of them, so uh, yeah, my luck had to come down, and that uh, was happening in the finals. He uh, stamped me twice. Game one is uh, where I got done, so I did not have a bench Pokemon to promote. And game number two, he uh, used the reset stamp early game to get rid of my uh, Fiery Flint and Welder, which I got out with Green's Exploration. So uh, my entire setup to just destroy his Picaram went down the drain. And uh, yeah, uh, the late game, I uh, managed to knock out a Picaram, and then he stamped me to like two cards because I also used Burst GX. And uh, of those two cards, I got like a welder and uh, no, two fire energies and I top deck the welder. So I weldered on my Feramosa and I just uh, conceded in style because uh, yeah, that was that's what happened. So yeah, uh, becoming second at a special event is very great. I got like 160 championship points. Uh, the deck list is up on my Facebook page. Definitely check it out, facebook.com slash And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Very long video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button. As always, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in uh, Germany where the next uh, regionals is gonna take place.